Well, hello everyone. How you guys doing? <laughs> so this is a different video than anything I've ever done. And I've kind of taken a week off from recording Minecraft videos, truly bedrock videos. I've got videos scheduled to come out Friday, Monday, but uh, I'm taking this time to spend with my family because here in a couple of days I will be traveling for work and I only get a couple of days at home. But Mojang has teased us with three different mobs. So I want to talk about them. And I don't have my computer set up, so we're going to do it this way. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> basically, as you guys know, we don't keep up to date with the latest and greatest updates that come to Minecraft. We still learning things about 1.17. I still don't know the new stuff that's coming in 1.18. But I have seen the mob vote, and there's the glare, the lay, I think it is, and the copper golem. Now, I've said it many times before, but I would rather see the game fixed than <clears throat> any new mob, right? But we know that's not going to happen. We have chunk border issues. We have <clears throat> um, villagers having worked since the village and pillage update, mob spawning is a problem on bedrock but hey we're gonna get a new mob <laughs> everybody look at this over here and we won't worry about what hasn't been fixed yet um so anyway each new mob has its own characteristic that's very unique to the game the glare can detect light levels the la can pick up items and drop it off to a jukebox which i think is pretty neat giving the jukebox something other than playing records and things like that <clears throat> and i'm sorry for the glare and stuff in my glasses it's just it is what it is guys anyway um and then the copper golem will be able to press copper buttons randomly and i can see a use for all three of those things but honestly light levels that aren't going to be an issue with the next update right they're changing the way mobs spawn to where even in the dimmest of lights mobs are not going to spawn it has to be pitch black Getting the LA to pick up items and bring it somewhere else, depending on how far of a distance it is, is really going to depend on if that mob is going to spawn, <laughs> despawn crossing chunk borders. And then the golem pressing buttons uh, randomly, I mean, you can do that with a mob and a pressure plate. People have done it with chickens, it's a chicken randomizer, go look it up, there's tons of videos out there. But anyway... I would like to expand upon the idea of the copper golem. I like the copper golem. I like the, the glare. I like them all. I like them as much as I dislike them. But the copper golem I thought was neat because we already have golems. We have the iron golem. We have the snow golem. And now there's potential for a copper golem. I think what they should do is they should redo all the golems they should change the way that villagers are protected from the iron golem to something else i think they should add copper tools and they should add copper armor they could make the durability very similar to iron but maybe slightly lower because in real life iron is stronger than copper right copper is a very malleable or malleable metal so it could be, it could have a slight durability increase compared to gold, but less than iron. And then we're good to go. I think what they should do is they should have a gold golem, iron golem, copper golem, diamond golem, and the potential for a netherite golem. Then depending upon the tool you give them, give them whether it's an axe, a shovel, a pickaxe, they could go do that specific ta uh, task. They could go mine wood for you they could go mine blocks for you they could go mine sand for you just if the tool can break it then they can mine it similar to being on like adventure mode right uh then we could throw in the whole uniqueness of the la where those guys will take those items and they have an inventory they'll take it over excuse me i'm try, trying not to hiccup but anyway they'll take it over to like a chest that you could assign them to and they'll dump off the items and then once the chest and their inventory is full they're done mining 
We could take it a step further to where each one has a durability based upon what you made them out of. So if you made it out of gold, it has a low durability. If you made it out of diamond, it has a high durability, right? Um, could have the potential for netherite golem. <laughs> so you could use it in the nether. I don't know what you'd use it for, but it wouldn't be able to burn. So that's an idea. And we could kind of combine the Alay and the golems into making it more automation friendly for the people of Minecraft. I think that would be neat. It'd be similar to the robot from Modded. Um, and speaking of Modded, Modded already has copper tools and copper armor. It's very similar to iron. That's why my suggestion came across. Plus Minecraft tries to mimic real life even though it's not a, obviously a real game. I know that's going to come as a shock to some of you. <laughs> um, but it is what it is. I think that could be a neat, a neat thing. Maybe even add like a redstone golem that will randomly power redstone if it stands near like a repeater or a redstone line. They could walk on pressure plates. They could push buttons. They could pull levers. I don't know. I just think... Uh, I'm not too excited about any one specific mob. They all have their unique abilities, and that's just my idea. One of the things that I was thinking about with the copper golem is they say it's gonna be able to press copper buttons randomly. Well, if we're adding copper buttons, are they gonna oxidize? If they oxidize, are they gonna be stuck? You can't press them anymore? Or are they going to make it to where you can still press them and we can have green buttons similar to the warped plank wood button? It's all speculation right now and I wanted to get this out or talk about this whilst it's all fresh in everybody's mind. So that's why we did this whole little different video. <laughs> um, and it's going to be kind of weird because this is the first time I've really put my face out there. And... Uh, that's just my thought process. I think it could be neat. Um, maybe we could even add a new tool called like a sickle. And you could give the sickle to a golem. It could harvest crops for you. If you gave it a hoe, it would plant crops for you. Like we could really break this down into each individual task. Really, I just want something in the game that plants and harvests nether warp for me because I'm tired <laughs> of mining nether warp. That's the honest, honest opinion. But you guys take to the comment section. Let me know what you think. You know, this is all speculation now. And maybe some of these ideas someday will become relevant. Um, but I see people starting to think about these things that I was thinking about yesterday. And I tweeted a little bit about the, the copper buttons and stuff. And so I just want to get this out and, and talk and give my little opinion on it. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, hi. <laughs> this is me and uh, yeah uh, stay tuned we're gonna have a video that comes out Friday we are gonna have a video that comes out Monday the videos aren't stopping just because I'm on vacation I got them all pre-recorded pre-planned and all that stuff and uh, after I get to Kentucky hopefully we'll be back to live streaming and and putting out videos and all that stuff so anyway you guys know the routine now like comment subscribe check descriptions. You know all the stuff now. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.